it's so interesting to see how this cascade of putting this chemical roundup into our food system set us up for this breakdown in these different barrier systems. And it's so beautiful that here is the chemical that we're destroying planet Earth's soils with, and yet she planted as an antidote to this chemical these compounds within our soils 60 million years ago. And that's how we extract these carbon molecules. So we go to a fossil layer of soil uh, in the Southwest United States, and we then bring that to our labs. We crush that into nanoparticles, and we go through a multi-stage process to uh, liberate small carbon molecules and get hydrogen to bond to the oxygens again and get a redox effect. And when that system of communication from fossil soils goes back in to a, a modern human experience, it's unbelievable you know, what can happen. And again, it's not because the compound's doing anything, it's because the human cell is capable of that when it's grounded in the intelligence of soil, when it's grounded in the intelligence of nature. And so that's been the journey towards this you know, extraordinary realization that if we don't fix the agricultural industry, we're going to fail. So now our biotech company with all of its supplements are channeling all of our profits back into root cause solutions. And one of those being our nonprofit, which is an awareness and education effort to allow, allow chemical farmers to realize that they're actually the most potent members of change for the transformation of human health. And this is poignant because they are facing the highest levels of chronic disease in the world.